Following the ever increasing population pressure in Kampala, a lot of eco sludge lacks in slums and thus poses risks to environmental health on top of pollution problems. Center for Research in Energy and Energy Conservation Creek and McKay University College of Engineering, Design, Art and Technology are solving the challenge by the innovation of eco sludge as energy source. Eco sludge as a fuel provides a very good alternative one in terms of environmental protect, protection and to supplement fuel to help reduce the amount of trees that are cut down for fuel and burning and also to help provide ways to provide public sanitation and increase the sustainability of the fecal sludge management service chain. In Uganda, electricity demand outruns the electricity generation capacity and industries are in demand for solid fuels. In Kampala, SEDEC and its research partners are building on the results of the project by investigating the viability of co-processing, fecal sludge and other bio-wastes to produce fuel pellets and subsequently electricity through gasification. We first do the manual mixing from the tarpaulin, then from there we get the fecal sludge and pour it in our machine here, which is the pelletizing machine. Fecal sludge is squeezed through this part, which is the extruder, after which it passes through the nozzle and it comes out in form of a pellet. The Sludge to Energy Enterprise project established a pilot scale research facility at National Water and Sewage Corporation in Irubiji, Waste Water and Fecal Sludge Treatment Plant, where market research is conducted to provide reliable data aimed at market implementation of technologies and the end products. So after pelletizing and uh, having the pellets ready, we bring them here for drying. Uh, this is the technology we are using currently. Uh, this is a drying rack. So when we put them here, we keep on monitoring them how long it takes to dry. The use of eco sludge as fuel to provide energy for industry could help to solve the sanitation challenge and reliance on dirty and expensive fuels. When we talk about resource recovery from fecal sludge, our number one goal is protection of public health. And we can assure that in a number of ways with fecal sludge to fuel resource recovery. One is that if we're producing briquettes, they've been heated to such a high temperature that any risk of pathogens are, are eliminated. Another way is that we partner with industries and that, for example, fecal sludge pellets could be used by large-scale industries such as cement factories, and their public health can easily be protected by the workers that are handling the pellets. Dr. Charles Nwagaba is the principal investigator on the project. He calls upon the public to utilize the enterprise. As researchers, we are very much aware of the social and the cultural issues and taboos regarding the use of um, fuel from fecal sludge. And that's why actually in the first place we started by uh, looking at a route in which it can be used in industrial applications, especially those which are not dealing in food production. However, the investigations that we have performed have also shown us that these briquettes and the pellets that are produced from fecal sludge do not smell. In other words, uh, in some cases where people have used them without telling them the source, they can't tell whether the source is, a, um, is, is a fecal sludge or even any, any other organic substrates. Many enterprises could pick a leaf from Makai University's model of clean renewable energy fuels in a bid to drive towards sustainable industrial development and green energy. People cut trees to make firewood and charcoal, but this has greatly affected the environment. Now, Makai University and Iowag Research Institute is undertaking research on the viability of fecal sludge pellets to be used for industrial and home consumption. Joseph Bulle. UBC Kampala.